A pleasant and warm welcome to one and all. A very special good morning to you, our listening audience, on GBN Classic FM 105.5 and 105.9, and those of you listening online. This morning's assembly will be conducted by the young leaders of St. Joseph's Convent Grandview, 2015 to 2016. Our Young Leaders Group this year consists of from three students and two teachers. The national theme for the Young Leaders Program is Me, You, We, a shared vision for a better society. The theme for this morning's assembly and our Young Leaders theme is making the choice to heal our society by targeting students' academic performance and behavior. Ms. Carla Noel, a teacher from the St. Andrews RC School, will now lead us in singing some choruses. I found a new life, I found a new life. If anybody asks you what's the matter with you, my friend, tell them that you are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, Jesus is mine. I found a new life, I found a new life, I found a new life. If anybody asks you what's the matter with you, my friend, Tell him that you are saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, water baptized, Jesus is mine, I found a new life. God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, oh yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, oh yes he is. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. God is a good God, God is a good God, oh yes he is. God is a good God, oh yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. God is a good God, yes he is. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground. He lifts me up, he turns me around, he plants my feet on higher ground we are going up 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 we're going up together we're going up to parker in the name of the lord we are going up we are going up 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 we're going up together we're going up to Costa in the name of the Lord. I am a warrior. I'm, I'm a conqueror. I'm an overcomer in the name of the Lord. going up we are going up 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 we're going up together we're going up to prosper in the name in the name of the lord we are going up up high we're going up together we're going up to prosper 
In the name of the Lord, I am a warrior, I am a conqueror, I'm an overcomer. In the name of the Lord, I am a warrior, I am a conqueror. I'm an overcomer in the name of the Lord. We are a chosen generation, and God wants to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. We are a chosen generation, and God wants to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me, and I know who I am. I know who God says I am, what he says I am, where he says I'm at. I know who I am, I know who God says I am, oh, what he says I am. Where he says I'm at, I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking miracles. I live a life of favor, for I know who I am. I'm walking in power, I'm walking miracles. I live a life of favor, because I know who I am. I am holy, I am right. The young leaders will now portray a message through dance for us. Our television audience is really in for a treat, which we wished that our radio audience did not have to miss.
And so we all must lend a helping hand. The scripture readings are taken from Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 6 to 9, Matthew chapter 18, verses 12 to 14, and Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. These will be read by Tori Noel and Darcel Courtney. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 to 9. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Matthew 18, 12 to, 20, 12 to 14. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly, I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of my father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. This is the word of the Lord. The reflection will be done in two parts this morning. Please listen attentively as our group vice president brings a message to us. This will be followed by a poem which was written by Mr. Michael Senator Mitchell for our Young Leaders Program. Mr. Mitchell is a well-known cultural activist and parent of the school. These are the words of a song.
team, throughout and within. We've established rules and regulations as people united and live as one. But nowadays, it's a different age, on a different stage, and like, we have lost our grade. Recognizing positive behavior should be top of your agenda. Sakitan Palelot! Who can tell others? A word to the wise is sufficient. Come, let's unite and live as one and develop this beautiful nation, vigorously chanting with sweet refrain, reverberating.
now sing the chorus, give thanks, after which some young leaders will intercede on our behalf. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because it's given. Jesus Christ is Son. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give Almighty and gracious Father, we pray for the Young Leaders Group of SJC and all over Young Leaders nationwide. We pray for the families of the teachers from Telescope Primary School and the PBC who recently passed away. Please be there to guide and comfort them at this time. Strengthen the principal, teachers, and students of these schools. Please grace us with greater unity among the schools in Grenada so that together we can build a better country. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to lead and help us to make right choices to heal our society by helping other students with their performance and behavior. We pray that it will make a special impact on their life. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of light and truth, thank you for giving us a mind that we can know and a heart that we can love. Help us to keep learning every day of our life for all the knowledge leads to you. Let us be aware of, our, of your presence in all things at all times. Grant us the grace to keep exploring the world you have created. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear Lord, we pray for our society to be a better and brighter place. Help those who are seeking help and show them the right way to do so. Bless all the parents and give them the strength and courage to bring up their children in a respectable and productive manner, so that in the end, they will uplift the society. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mrs. Hilda Lyons, a past pupil and par sorry, and a parent of our school, who is now a teacher at the St. Andrews RC School, will now address us on our Young Leaders Project theme. 
making the choice to heal our society by targeting students' academic performance and behavior. Good morning, young ladies. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, girls. Good morning to the listening and viewing public. A pleasant good morning to all. Now, we had quite a few food for thought on certain aspects of the team for the young leaders of the St. Joseph's Convent Granville. And their theme is making the choice to heal our society by targeting students' academic performance and behavior. Now you heard a lot on the role of the parents, how good it is to get a good education. I'm just gonna share a little with you on making the right choice and to be the agent of change. In today's world, many of us are quick to blame others for the immorality or the ills in our society. It is high time that each of us decides to become an agent of change. And by that I mean to be the person you want others to follow and respect. We can all contribute to making our school, our community, our country, this world a safer, happier, and more joyful place by living our lives to the best of our ability and by leading by example. You might be asking, how can I, a young person, a young lady, a young man, a little boy, a little girl, a mom, a dad, how can I do that? Now I'll share with you a few points. First of all, you must always be true to yourself. At your age here, now, teenagers, it's easy for many of us to lose ourselves and to engage in activities or moments that may not necessarily reflect who we are as individuals. For you young ladies here, you are faced with pressures, pressures from peers, the media, society, parents, teachers. But you must always keep in mind and remember, remind yourself of who you are, what you value, and don't be afraid to share it with others. It's very important also to share, as the young leader said this morning, share, share a smile. Remember that small causes can have large effects. All it takes is one ripple in a pond to carry it onwards. Now just imagine what your ripple effect could do. Imagine that you come to school every morning and you remember to give your classmates, your teachers, a smile. You never know what problems they left home with. This little smile can go a very, very long way. Live in the moment and appreciate all that you have. Today well lived makes each yesterday a memory of happiness and every tomorrow a vision of hope. Choose life every day. Be grateful for what you have and most important, share. Share and spread as much love as you can. Let your actions speak louder than your words. I'll say that again. Let your actions speak louder than your words. Therefore, you must always remember to act in a positive manner, no matter what. Spread messages of hope to those who are lonely and forgotten. And you should do so whenever you have the opportunity to do that or whenever you can. You would be surprised just how badly some of your peers right here need a simple message to show them that they are important, that they are listened to, that someone cares. Lend a hand. I'm sure some of you girls you are very, very aware of this motto from your brownie days, guides days, even your rangers. You must lend a hand to those who are in need. 
Don't wait for someone to ask. If you see someone who needs help but is afraid to ask, don't be afraid. Lend a hand. And you can do so by joining various groups such as the young leaders who dedicate their time to the service of others. If something bothers you, speak up. Especially if you witness someone who is being mistreated. Don't be afraid to voice your opinions. Last but not least, we have to be the change that we want to see in this world. It is really that simple. Now if we choose to be a spectator, just imagine how many in this world would choose to do the same. Instead, let us act. You can make the world a better place by making yourself a better person, by being the best version of yourself. And as teachers, parents, you, the listening and viewing public out there, we all have our part to play. We should play our part in healing the world by enabling our students, our kids, through education and motivation to leave the world better than they have found it. We owe it to our children to instruct them on how to handle the problems that we all know they would encounter in their lives. Let us make that choice. Let us make that choice to act. Every one of us can make a difference. Every one of us should try. Thank you and God bless. The thought will now be done by the Noel Sisters of the St. Andrews RC School in the form of a song. There's a place in your heart and I know that it is love And this place could be much brighter than tomorrow And if you really try you find there's no need to cry In this place you feel there's no heart or sorrow There are ways to get there if you care enough for the living, make a little space, make a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying if you care enough for the living. Make a better place for you and for me. If you want to know why, there's a love that can't lie. Love is strong, it only cares of joyful giving. If we try, we shall see. In this bliss we cannot feel. Fear or dread, we stop existing and start living. Then it feels that always love's enough for us growing. So make a better world, make a better world. Heal the world, make it a better place for you. There are people dying If you care enough for the living Make a better place for you and for me And the dreams we were conceived in Will reveal a joyful face And the world we once believed in Will shine again in grace Then why do we keep strangling life 
whom this earth crucified so, though it's plain to see the world is heavenly, be God's glow, we can fly so high, let our spirits never die, in my heart I feel you are all my sisters, create a world with no fear, together we'll cry happy tears, to see the nations turn their souls into plunges. We can really get there if we care enough for the living. Make a little space to make a better place. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are People dying, if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. There are people dying, if you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me you and for me you and for me you and for me please stand at attention as we pay homage to our country by singing the national anthem and reciting the pledge. Two, three. Hail Grenada, land of us, we pledge ourselves to thee. As hearts and hands in unity to reach our destiny. the young leaders groups in the secondary schools throughout Grenada. To students all across Grenada, remember that St. Joseph's Convent Grenville Young Leaders 2016 says, stay in school and learn and behave well for a better tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. We now introduce you to Innocent, one of GBN's announcers, to give some closing remarks. Good morning, a pleasant good morning to the principal, staff, and students of the St. Joseph's Convent, St. Andrew. And, uh, right, thank you. Yeah, that song, nice. <laughs> I also want to say a very special thank you on behalf of the Grenada Broadcasting Network to the Young Leaders group here for having us here this morning. And I must commend you all on a wonderful assembly. I think you deserve a round of applause. Give yourselves a round of applause. The reason why the GBN is here this morning is because being the leading broadcast media on the island, if not the region, 
we always embark on initiatives that can lift our society. And we think one of the better places to start is with the youth, all right? Because it is often said that the youth of today are going to be what? The leaders of? So we are getting older, and I'm talking about us. And we would want to ensure that when we are enjoying our pension and retirement, we have able-bodied people who can really take care of our business then. All right? Before I proceed any further, though, I'd like to say a very special good morning to my comrade, Michael Senator Mitchell. Give Senator a round of applause. <laughs> and his assisting members of the Drum Corps, Godfrey, and this youngster, Como se llama? Ah, he doesn't talk that language. As a past student, teacher, I still consider myself a teacher because I keep teaching all the time. I want to say just a few words to you, young girls. All right? I think that you are at a disadvantage in the era in which we live. Yeah? where the atmosphere is polluted with negativity, yeah? Everywhere you turn, instead of positivity, you are faced with negativity, all right? The music that you listen to, well, I shouldn't say the music that you listen to, the music that is played, because you cannot listen to it if it's not played, yeah? The music that are produced, they're all geared towards, in colloquial terms, messing up your minds and inadvertently messing up your life. Now, I want to implore you, I want to challenge you all this morning to be true to yourself. Pick and choose your friends wisely. Please do. Always try to be the leader of your clique. Don't be a follower. Go ahead. Do not let your friends confirm you to what they want you to be. I am certain, very, very certain, that each and every one of you here know the difference in right and wrong, good and bad. I want to urge you to choose right and to choose good. Because let me tell you something. If you don't choose wisely, your latter years will be miserable. You will be stressed out. You will be broke. And you know what being broke is? What being broke means? No laja. No money. All right? Now, money isn't all. Money isn't all. So don't set your focus primarily on money. A good character is better than money. All right? And I can tell you that from a learned position. So please, in whatever you do, try your utmost best to maintain a good character. Later on, you will reap the benefits of it. All right? For those of you, we know the problematic society in which we are living, even at this stage. You have to understand that the world is influenced by two powers, yeah? Good and? Or we could say evil. And it appears as though for some strange reason that evil seems to be getting the edge. I want to tell you that all is not lost. Even at your tender ages, things might have happened in your life that are not pleasant, are not good, you're unhappy, you're uncomfortable, but you're silent. You're not stating it, you're not talking to people. I urge you, find someone confidential and speak. Do not hold back any bad experiences that you've had. All right? Set yourself free. Now, I want to pause just for a brief second. 
Before I get a good tongue lashing later on, I want to say a special good morning to my daughter, Brittany, daddy love child, Joseph. Where's Brittany? Good morning, Brittany. All right, good. In closing, in closing, I want to once again re-emphasize the importance of getting a sound education and not only that, but maintaining a good character. Okay? Those of you on the stage, you all really did well. I think you all need to give them another round of applause. And not only them, but I want to call somebody. Come, 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 sweet. Come, come, come. Come, sweetheart. I am not very certain, but I can only presume that she is the person or one of the persons, if not the lead person, behind the young leaders. Am I correct? You're correct. Good. I want you to give her a round of applause as well. So in closing... In closing, I want to do something for you. It was done already, but I cannot come here and don't do that because I usually use it as one of my theme songs. If you know it, sing along with me. Education, education, this is the foundation. Our rising population needs sound education. To be recognized anywhere you go. You better have your certificate to show. To enjoy any kind of happiness. Knowledge is the key to success. Sing with me. Children go to school and learn well. Otherwise later on in life you go catch well hell. Without an education in your head Your whole life will be pure misery You're better off dead For there is simply no room In the whole wide world For an uneducated little boy or girl Don't allow idle companions To lead you astray To earn tomorrow You got to learn today Thank you very much on, <laughs> once again, before I go, on behalf of Mrs. Odette Campbell, the general manager of the Grenada Broadcasting Network, and all our wonderful employees and hardworking staff at the GBN, we thank you once again for the opportunity to be here and look forward to many more initiatives from the GBN as we partner with the society to make our mark in changing and revolutionizing lives. Once again, on behalf of the GBN, thank you very much for having us.